Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to demonstrate uh, two packet tracer activities. The, both of them are uh, related to VLAN configurations. One of them is 3.3.12 and the other one is 3.4.5. The reason why I'm doing two activities in one video is pretty simple because the second activity 3.4.5 starts from the point where we leave in the first activity. So let's find out how to configure VLANs, how to assign the ports to VLANs, and then how to configure trunks and check connectivity between the VLAN traffic. So let's get going. So this is the activity 3.3.12. And for ease of usage, let me just uh, log these things here. OK. Uh, here you go. Let me just put it on lock. And this is the topology that's been given to us. There are three objectives for this particular uh, PT activity. One of it is uh, verify the default VLAN configuration, configure VLANs, and assign VLANs to ports. That is what it is given to us. Now, in this scenario, let me start from the first point onwards. Uh, part one, uh, verify the default VLAN connection. Okay. So step one, it is asking me display the current VLANs. On S1, issue the command that displays all VLANs configured. Okay, where is S1? Here, here is S1. So let me click on S1. Just expand it a little bit. And for me to do that, I need first enter into the privilege remote. And here I need to type in show VLAN brief. That gives me a list of all the VLANs on this particular device. So if you want a better picture, let me just try this. Okay. So this is how you find it on uh, S1. So there is VLAN 1, which is by default, and all the ports are assigned to VLAN 1. And there are other uh, VLANs, uh, 10023. These are all used for legacy purposes. OK, so let me go back. Now it is saying verify connectivity between PCs on the same network. So if that is the case, uh, PC1, if you see here, PC1 belongs to VLAN 10. And similarly, here in this network, PC4 belongs to VLAN 10. PC2 is VLAN 20. PC2 and PC5 belong to the same VLAN 20. PC3 and PC6 belong to VLAN 30. So it is asking me just check uh, if ping uh, works or not. So PC1 can ping PC4 or not. Now let me go to PC1, PC1, and then we click on, uh, click on command prompt. And I need to check whether PC1 can ping PC4. For that, I need PC4's IP address. So the PC4's IP address is written over here. So let me try that. Ping 172.17.10.24, enter. So it's working fine. The ping is, is getting back. So that means it works fine. Similarly, we can try PC2 to PC5 also. If that is the case, let me see PC2 to PC5. I'll try this one more, PC2, ping, the IP address of PC5 is 172.17.20.25, enter. There you go, this also works. The ping is successful. So there is no loss or anything. Pings to hosts on other networks fail. Okay, let, let us try once. So let me go to PC1 again. And if I try to ping in to PC5, see, let's see what happens. So ping, I just want trying to ping other hosts. You can try anything. 172.17.20.25. This is the one which is for PC5. It is obviously in a different VLAN. See, the ping is failed. It says request timed out. Let's give it uh, one more minute and let us see what happens. Request is timed out. And by the time you get the thing, uh, you get the response back. What are benefits can VLANs provide to the network? I discussed it in the module three video. There are numerous benefits. Uh, maintenance gets easier. Uh, reduction in the broadcast traffic. There will be increasing the performance of networks. There are many benefits for with VLANs. So let's jump on to part two. It says configure VLANs. On S1, we start. So step one, create and name VLANs on S1. This is my switch S1. So let me click on that. So drag it up. And here I need to start creating the VLAN. For that, I need to enter into the global configuration mode. So configure terminal. You can use the shortcuts also, global uh, configuration mode. And I have to start 
issuing the commands for creation of VLANs. Please make sure that whenever you are issuing a command to uh, create a VLAN, the name should be exactly the same as given in your instructions. If the name does not match, you will not be marked. Okay. So let me start with VLAN 10. This is the first one, VLAN 10. And the name given to this is faculty slash staff. So I created the first VLAN and it is actually asking me to create the other VLANs also. So there are other uh, four other VLANs. I need to create all of them. Very simple VLAN 20. I just give the VLAN uh, command and the VLAN ID assigned to that 20 and the name assigned to that name. Students, the name should be unique. It should not be the, the two, you cannot assign the same name to two VLANs. So name students, VLAN 30, uh, name guest, and it should be default, okay? It is default, enter. And VLAN 99, and I'm assigning it to name management and native, enter. VLAN 150, and I'm giving the name as voice. I'm just typing it. So here I have created all the VLAN. Now, which will come which can display the VLAN name status? Of course, you can actually type in the VLAN brief command. Okay. I you can actually get that also. Exit. Show uh, exit. Show VLAN brief. There you go. This actually shows to how many VLANs are there and what are the ports assigned to it. You can see that I have created these VLANs now, 10, 20, 30, 99, and 150 on S1. Now it is, it is actually asking me to do the same on S2 and S3 also. So let's uh, do it on S2 first. Okay, so click on S2. You will automatically be opened in the CLI tab. Click on S2, then first uh, type in enable and then go into the global configuration mode, of T configure terminal and you have to uh, write down the same commands you can actually type it in a notepad and copy paste it if you are if you are, need to repeat the same commands over and over again but let us type it vlan 10 name faculty staff vlan 20 name students vlan 30 name guest default default okay and vlan 99 enter name management and native vlan 150 enter name voice so i created the vlans on x2 and let me do the same for S3 also. So click on S3, just follow the same steps, enable and configure terminal and then start issuing the same commands again. VLAN 10, name, faculty, slash staff, enter VLAN 20, name, student. I'm reiterating again that Whatever name is given in your instructions, you have to follow the same name. You can't simply name them yourself. It won't uh, count against your mark. So name is guest default. Enter. VLAN 99. Uh, name management and native. Enter and VLAN 150, enter, name, voice, enter. So I created all the VLANs on both S1 and S2 and S3 and all the switches. So let me see what's next, okay? So it is asking me to assign VLANs to ports. This is the next step. Once you assign the VLAN, once you create the VLANs on switches, you now we need to assign each and every particular VLAN to the right port. Now let us start with S2 here. So assign VLANs to the ACT2 ports on S2. Just uh, measuring it. If you see here, on S2, we have three ports, F0 by 11, F0 by 18, and F0 by 6. Each one of these ports is connected to one VLAN. So F0 by 11 is connected to VLAN 10, 
f0 by 18 is connected to vlan 20 f0 by 6 is connected to pc3 which belongs to vlan 30 so now after we created the vlans on this switch we have to assign these ports so that they will now accept traffic from these vlans let us start what we need to do on s2 let me come out of it exit into the global configuration mode so you have seen that on s2 First, I will start with the F0 by 11. I will start with the interface F0 by 11. So, interface F0 by 11, enter. Now, what I need to do is, I need to first set this interface into access mode. So, for that, the command I need is switch port mode access. First, I need to convert into access mode. And after that, I need to... Uh, set it up such that it will now allow traffic or accept traffic from VLAN 10. So for that, I have to enter the command switch port access VLAN. So this is what I need to do for interface F0 by 11. After this, I need to do the same thing for F0 by 18 for VLAN 20 and F0 by 6 for VLAN 30. So let me enter those commands also. I did that now interface f uh, 0 by 18 f 0 by 18 enter switch uh, this i can use the up arrow because it's a similar thing switch port mode access and once again i'll do this now it's for vlan 20 to save time i can use the up and down arrows okay now this is what for interface f 0 by 18 the next thing which i need to do is f 0 by six this is the third interface of s2 enter and i need to do the same thing switch port mode access and for f0 by six it is vlan 30 so access vlan 30 so these are the commands now this is there is a procedural thing first thing is you create vlans on switches and after that you find the interfaces that are connected to these vlans and then assign these interfaces to accept traffic from these vlans so this is how you do it for each and every interface, you simply need to type in uh, the switch port mode access command. And after that, this interface relates to what VLAN, you just enter the ID here. That's all, switch port access. Now you have to do the same thing on S3 also. So let me do that for S3. So let me click on S3 here. And let me go into the uh, mode and interface F0 by 11, enter, switch or mode access i need to do that first and after that so this is because you can see here these three ports are the same for both switches uh, it is easy for us to remember f0 by 11 to vlan 10 f0 by 18 to vlan 20 f0 by 6 to vlan 30 also please uh, find that for f0 by 11 there is a voice vlan also connected we will also issue the commands to implement or configure the voice vlan also now switch port I made it into access. I put the I put it into access mode, and after that, switch port access VLAN. 10. Similarly, I need to do it for other ports also. F0 by 18, and, and then do the same thing. Switch port mode access, and switch port access VLAN 20. Enter, and the next interface I need to do is F0 by 6. Enter, switch port mode access. Enter. Switch port access VLAN 30. So I entered all the VLAN commands and I assigned each one of these interfaces on S2 and S3 for the individual VLANs. Now it, now it is asking me to assign the voice VLAN for fast Ethernet port 0 by 11 on S3. Do remember during our module videos, I told you that one port will be assigned to only one data VLAN. But at the same time, it can be assigned to one data VLAN and one voice VLAN also. So let me do the uh, configuration for voice VLAN on that particular port. I need to go into interface F0 by 11 because it is that interface that is connected to the Vivo IP phone here. You can see, Vivo, I need to enter this here. So I need to first type in interface F0 by 11 and MLS QoS trust QoS. This is the quality of service setting for uh, voice over IP traffic 
just ignore you don't need to want to go into the details just uh, type in the command that mlsqs trust cos cost of service cos stands for and switch port because it's voice lan voice voice vlan 150 is the one which we created there you go so i completed all of them now it is asking me verify loss of connectivity the completion says 100 percent so let me see what i need to do here for others so previously pcs that shared the same network could ping each other successfully now study the output uh, from one of the command on s2 and answer the following questions okay on s2 he has typed in show vlan brief and this is what you got okay fine and try pinging between pc1 and pc4 okay okay fine i can do that pc1 is already done earlier so i can just type in the same thing for pc4 so pc4 is 10.24 pc4 is 10.24 i am trying pinging in now it is saying request time dot it should uh, it should be pinging back so it is asking me let me come back here although the access ports are assigned to the appropriate vlans were the pings successful explain no the pings were not successful i don't think it goes through the reason being if you see here the reason being we are forgetting one thing after setting up of the vlans you need to set these links between s2 and s1 and s1 and s3 as trunk links unless until you uh, convert them as trunks the traffic from this particular link will not be traversing onto the other switches we studied this in module 3 so at this point i am going to close this uh, activity 3.3.12 and let me start on with our next activity okay this is the same scenario same topology used so we have first in this activity we actually created a configured vlans and assigned the ports to vlans in the next activity i'm going to do the same thing and i'm going to start uh, configuring trunks for this particular activity so that the traffic now goes through let me open that activity and i'll show you so this is the PT activity 3.4.5. You can see here 3.4.5. And uh, this is where we are going to try to configure trunks. This is the same uh, uh, topology that we used for our earlier uh, PT activity, okay? The two objectives are verify VLANs and configure trunks. Okay, let me do that. Let me start working on it. Now it's saying uh, display on S1 on this. Issue the command that will display on VLANs configured. So there should be 10 VLANs in total. Notice that all 26 access ports are on the switch are assigned to VLAN. Okay, so S1 and on here, let me just type in enable and I can type in show VLAN brief. There you go. You can see this as well. All the ports that are there for the switch are now assigned to VLAN 1 and the remaining VLANs are also created 10, 20, 30, 88, and 99. Okay, so let me get that. Uh, let me see what else needs to be done. On S2 and S3, display and verify that all the VLANs are configured and assigned to the correct switch ports according to the addressing table. Okay, I can do that also. Uh, type on S2, I just need to type in there. And S2, I need to type, go in for interface. Sorry. Show VLAN. Now it is actually showing uh, VLAN 10 is connected to F0 by 11. Yes, right. 20 is connected to F0 by 18, correct. And 30 is connected, the guest tree is connected to F0 by 6. Yes, correct. Similarly, you need to do that for S3 also, just to make sure that everything is assigned properly. So you type in here, enable, and then type in show VLAN brief. Okay. Similarly, F0 by 11, F0 by 18, and F0 by 6. So all of them are assigned properly. Now verify loss of connectivity uh between pcs on the same network we did this earlier uh, where i tried pinging pc1 from uh, pc4 from pc1 and it did not work so let us try it again so pc1 command prompt pc4's uh, ip address is ping 172.17.10.24 okay I'm trying to ping PC1 and PC4. Let's see how good request timed out. Yes, it, it cannot ping each other. They cannot ping one another. This is simply because the ports on the switches are actually assigned to VLAN 1 by default to provide connectivity between, no, in order to connect between the PCs, PC1 and PC4 or PC2 to PC5, we need to configure trunks that 
two links that actually connect these ones are S1 and S2, the link between S1 and S2, and also similarly the link between S1 and S3. These two links must be configured as trunks for the traffic to pass through. Okay, for that reason, let me first start issuing the commands on S1. If you type in S1, there are two ports that need to be converted into trunk ports, which G0 by 1 and G0 by 2. So let me do that here on S1. Let me go into the cobble configuration mode. And from there, I can type in interface range Z0 by 1, 2. That means I'm actually doing both of these uh, interfaces at the same time. If you're not comfortable using the range command, you can do it individually. But using the range command is far more easier and efficient. And just now I'm going to the range mode. And what I need to do is switch port mode trunk. I need to set it up as trunk. Okay. So these two ports it will take a little bit of time. It will take a little bit of time. And now it is also actually asking me, configure VLAN 99 as the, as the native VLAN for Z0 by 1 and Z0 by 2 interfaces on S1. I can do that. Now, anyhow, I'm in the range command. Both of the interfaces are there. So I need to type in switch port trunk native VLAN 99. Okay. I did that. Now it is actually saying that uh, native VLAN mismatch. It is showing one end of your uh, native VLAN is 99 and the other end is 1. That is with S2 and S3, both of them. So I have, because I have just set up these two ports and I did not set up these two ports. The Z0 by 1 port of S2 and Z0 by 2 port of S3. Now we configured this. This is what you got, syslog. So you configured VLAN 99 as... Uh, native VLAN S1, but however, S2 and S3 are using VLAN 1 as the default native VLAN because we didn't set it uh, else. By default, VLAN 1 is your native VLAN. I hope you everybody remember what do you mean by native VLAN. Any untagged traffic on the trunk will be assigned to native VLAN, okay? So although you have a native VLAN mismatch, things between PCs on the same VLAN are now successful. Explain. This is because you can see this is this has come into the green color again. The reason is you have DTP, dynamic trunking protocol. I told you DTP is a Cisco proprietary protocol, which is actually used for negotiation between these things. Now, once we have set up these two ports, Z0 by one port and Z0 by two port of S1 as trunk, automatically the S2 and S3 DTP on these two ports have negotiated with S1 and they converted G0 by 1 and G0 by 2 ports into trunks. That is the reason the pings now work. But it is our responsibility to, to configure them properly. Okay. Uh, let me see now. S2 and S3 issue the show interface trunk command. Okay. On S2, let me go here. I can type in show interface trunk. Okay. Now, this is the output that I got. But like this. You can see here, uh, it says that a DTP is successfully, yes. And to confirm that DTP has successfully negotiated trunking with S1 on S1, 2 and S3, that's done. The output also displays information about the trunk interfaces on S2 and S3. Now, if you see here, it says G0 by 1 is auto and it is currently in trunking mode. You can see it's in trunking mode. The native VLAN is set to one only. It's not 99 yet because we haven't entered the command. So the VLANs that are allowed to go through are 1, 10, 20, 30, 88, and 99. So th this is this will be the same scenario with S3 also. Now, this is what uh, correct the native VLAN mismatch on S2 and S3. I answered this question. Which active VLANs are allowed to across uh, allowed to cross the trunk? This is what you get. 1, 10, 20, 30, 88, 88, 88 and 99. Okay, it is still showing there is a mismatch. Okay. Now, in order to clear this mismatch, what we need to do is we need to assign properly. So let me just do that on S2, configure terminal, configure terminal, okay. So in the configure terminal, what I can do is I need to set up the VLAN 99 as the native VLAN. For that interface Z0 by 1, because Z0 by 1 port is the port which connects to S1. Interface Z0 by 1, enter, switch port mode trunk. I need to first set it to trunking mode, okay? And after that, I need to type in port uh, trunk native VLAN 99, okay? There you go. 
port consistency is restored. Now both of them have the same native VLAN setting. The same thing we have to do for S3 also. Let me do it for S3 too. S3. Let me do that for S3 also. Um, let me first configure terminal. Let me go into the global configuration mode. And from that point onwards, for S3, the port that is connected to S1 is Z0 by 2 port here. So please make sure that you enter it correctly. Z0 by 2, enter. Switch port mode trunk, enter. Switch port trunk native VLAN 99. It also shows uh, showing consistency is restored, and I think we have completed it. Okay, now it is also there is a step four here, so it says completion is hundred percent. It is asking me issue the show interface interface switch port command to verify that the native VLAN is now ninety nine. We need to verify whether it is done or not first, because anyhow we opened S three. Let us check out that and come out show interface Z zero by two. Switch port because that is the one which we just worked on. Now, if you see here, administrative access mode VLAN 1, there you go. Trunking native mode VLAN is now 99. That's all given here. Okay. Uh, also, it is asking me to verify the show VLAN command. Okay. Show VLANs. So, there you go. On S3, when I typed in the show VLAN command, this is what I got. But here, if you if you observe clearly, there is the there is no G0 by 2 port here. All the rest of the ports that we assigned are given, but G0 by 2 port is missing. Similarly, on S2, if I go and uh, enter in show interface or show VLAN, show VLAN command. The Z0 by 1 port is missing. Now, can anybody answer me why I'm why it's not showing these two ports? Z0 by 1 port and Z0 by 2 ports are not being displayed under VLANs. Yes, the answer is trunk ports are not shown there because just now we assigned these two ports as trunk. It is no longer being shown. So this is how you uh, configure a VLAN, create a VLAN, configure a VLAN, assign ports to the VLAN and then configure trunk links you know, to enable uh, traffic from uh, different VLANs to pass through. I will be doing a uh, video for the next activity also where you will be working on uh, DTPs and similar, similarly working on VLANs. Okay, hopefully you understood uh, this particular thing. And my suggestion for all of you is you try it first. You need to try it on your own first. Then it will be much more easier. Rather than just looking at it, you just uh, download the activity and try for yourself. Use the type these commands with your uh, own uh, hands so that you will get good practice. Thank you very much.